All right. Um, past couple days, I have switched or migrated back to Windows Vista 32-bit Ultimate Service Pack 1 on my HP Pavilion DV 6809WM. Got 4 gig of RAM in it. 64-bit um, couldn't see that RAM. It was only using 3. And for me, 64-bit was a lot slower. Wasted RAM, wasted hard disk space, wasted processor. Uh, it was a lot slower than 32-bit and less compatible. So one rainy afternoon or morning, actually, I made the migration or switch back to Vista 32-bit. Ultimate Service Pack 1. And when I did, my network icon disappeared. And I thought, hmm, never had that happen, but okay. So I right-hand clicked on my taskbar, went to Properties, went to the Notification Area, and Network was unchecked, and it was grayed out, and it wouldn't let me check it. Hmm. I restarted, I did a couple system restores, I did a whole bunch of things that I knew might fix it, and none of those worked. So I went to my next best, my next, next, I'm sorry, best tool, Google. And I googled it, and I found this, gpedit dot msc. And I've heard and used this command before, but I didn't realize how powerful it was. If you go to start run, or hit the flag key and the R key on your keyboard at the same time, and type it in, I already have it copied, so there I paste it and then hit OK. You get something like this. Go ahead and maximize it. And then you'll see computer configuration and user configuration. I clicked user configuration and then Windows settings. And anyhow, you can do a lot in here. Actually, computer. One of the, one of these was what I used. But, anyways, both work very well and I they're really really great things to be able to use because you can override a lot of the grayed out scenarios within here now I'm gonna say right now kind of a like a disclosure be careful don't screw around it's not my fault if you do so it's gpedit.msc yeah msc I'll put that over to the right of the video and it's a really great command I've used to do a lot of repairing in Windows and if you're fairly good um, with Windows or any computer I guess you could go around in here and figure out how to do a lot of stuff so I just thought I'd make a quick video on that like you can double click one of these and then you've got it kinda reminds me of services I'll go into that if you hit start and type in services under programs, the first one, if you click that, here's all the services running on your computer. So you can sort them by name and then run, then go down and let's say, hmm, I don't want Windows Update to automatically update while I'm doing something right now. So you can either close it from there or come here, right hand click on it and stop or restart properties. And uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with that, and that's really quite handy. I like that and services. You can do that with any currently, with oh, actually with any service that can run on your computer. So that is good. Um, there's one other thing about Windows that I'd kind of like to put on YouTube, but I don't, I don't know how that would go. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for that. It's, well, what the hell, I'm going to do it in my next video search for um, Windows Vista actually I think it's just Windows Windows password um, bypass and you'll find it so I'm not going to suggest you do that it's wrong just if you want to for some reason disobey me your master for leader leader and you could do that so anyhow thanks for watching and I hope you can use that please feel free to comment subscribe send me an email Drop me a line somehow, and again, thanks for watching.